All right, is there? Ooh. I stopped that. That's just weird. <laughs> All right, looks like we're live. Um, yeah, the machine says it's doing its thing, huh? Go. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm Brad. And I'm Krista. And we're awkward. No, just me. I'm awkward. Awkward pauses. That's where Claire gets it. We'll just stand here. <laughs> Actually, today we are going to be doing something more. Well, really, Mama's going to be doing most of it. I'm going to be over there on the computer. But we're going to show you today how to make artisan bread really fast. Yes, really fast, really easy. It's one of those go-to, in a hurry kind of breads. Yeah, the, the, there's only a few ingredients. And literally, it'll take you about, what, 10 minutes prep time to get the dough made? Five. Maybe. 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 And then you put this dough in your refrigerator. Mm -hmm. And you let it rise, but then after that, when you want to make a loaf, you just take off a lunk, slap it down, let it rise again. Well, there's a little more genteel to that. You don't slap just a lunk. slap it in, you know. You have to be a little more gentle with it. Right. So we slap a lunk down, and uh, then you let it rise again, and poof, you bake it, and you're done. And what's cool about it is how, how many actual loaves do you get out of this recipe when you just put it all in there? Four one-pound loaves. And it is... Delightful. Um, I got to tell you, it's it's changed me. It's maybe the man I am today. And so, also, we're going to be doing a really cool Thrive Life recipe. Yes, creamy beef and pasta. And it's our lunch. Yep. And it's going to be awesome. Yep. But uh, we'll talk more about that when, when it's time. So, I guess I'm going to go over there to the computer moment. You take it from here, okay? Okay. You got this? Got it. All right. I got it. Got it. Okay, so I'm going to make the um, artisan bread, and this bread is super, it's, it, I like to call it the stupid easy bread, um, because it's it's four ingredients. It's flour, water, yeast, and salt. Hold on, Mama. Let's show them the ingredients. There we go. Ah, oh, there you go. You can keep chatting. They okay. can hear you. Okay, so it's four cups of warm water, where it's just too warm to touch. Then two tablespoons of salt, two tablespoons of yeast, and eight cups of flour. It is that stupid easy. <laughs> and what's cool about it is that you have, you can go to the fridge, grab some out, and make it throughout the week. Yep, and I have some in the refrigerator that I've actually already taken some out of, and it's baking right now. So that way you can see the whole process. Mm -hmm. Hey, there I am. That way you can see the whole process uh, right now, and yes. you can bake along if you want. But yes. uh, so, what's the first? What's the first thing, Mama? First step, and I know a lot of people are, are gonna say you can't mix yeast and salt together. It well, does work. In this particular recipe, it actually happens to work really, really well. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the two tablespoons of Let me salt. This one just a little bit, Mama. Can we? Okay. Yep. There we go. That way they can see a little better. So you're going to start with uh, what? I didn't hear I'm that. going to start with two tablespoons of salt. And I'm going to pour that in one corner of my bucket. Now this bucket, let me go ahead. I'm going to stop here for just a second. This bucket. People always those, ask about it. People always ask about it. It's one of those Rubbermaid containers that I got from Walmart where it's the set of four for, I think, seven or eight dollars. Um, this one, it's funny because I've used it for so long, the lid is broken. Um, but it still works but fine. it still works fine. It doesn't really matter. Um, okay, so I've got my two tablespoons of, of salt in there, and you can use whatever kind of salt you like. I have happen to have sea salt. Mm -hmm. Come this way with that just a little bit. So we, there we go. Okay. Now we got it. Now we got it. Got it. Now, I'm going to add two. So in this corner, we have... Salt. And then you're going to put it in a separate corner. And in the other corner, which it really doesn't really matter, but um, I'm going to put the two tablespoons of yeast. Okay. Now, I've got my warm water where it's just too hot to touch. Just You don't want it too hot. You don't want it too cold. If it's too hot, it will kill your yeast. If it's too cold, it won't activate it. And how many cups is that again? This is four cups of warm water. Okay. So I'm going to pour that in there. And I'm going to just mix that up just to dissolve the salt. Okay. 
Okay. Now we're almost done. Yeah, that's that's amazing. Yeah. That is unbelievable. So now we're going to take eight cups of flour. There, it, it is exactly eight cups of flour. And everybody asks, is it bread flour? It is bread flour. That's what we like to use, or I like to use, because I do baking. But hold on. That's that's three. This one's three. Yes, I yeah. counted. I have to. There's count. three. Count it out loud, baby. Four. Five. Five. Uh, uh, uh. Six, Six. Uh, cups uh, uh. of bread flour. Seven. Eight. Okay. That's it. Now, take your spoon and you're just going to mix this up. You're going to mix it till you can't mix it by hand anymore. And then you pretty much leave it alone. No. No? No. No? No? I missed a step. See, I can barely, I can, but it's just, it's hard to mix. So I scrape off my spoon, and then I mix by hand. Because as my mother-in-law has always said, God gave you these first. Okay. So as you can see, it's still pretty dry. But there is still a lot of moisture in there, so I'm going to just mix it by hand. And what you're trying, what are you trying to accomplish, baby? This dough is wet and sticky. And it's funny because I usually do this in the sink. I set this down in the kitchen sink, so it's a little bit easier to mix. Just because, yeah, this table. Because it's lower. Yeah, this table is a little high. Yeah. Kelsey Barrow is saying, I missed the initial dry ingredient. Well, while she's mixing away, here you go. Yep. Here's the recipe, Kelsey. Four cups of warm water, two tablespoons of salt, two tablespoons of yeast, and eight cups of flour. Yep. Okay, so... As you can see, this bread is really sticky. It is, the dough. But what you have to make sure is there's no dry pockets of flour in there. Otherwise, you get these funky clumps. And then it just makes gross. It just makes it gross. So. I've been accused of funky clumps in the past. <laughs> nice. So with the with, what I do with the rest of this is I scrape it off my hands. Close up. No, not that one. Yeah. This one. Scrape it off my hands. Yeah. Because I don't like wasting all of that dough. Funky clumps. Oh, it's sticky. Okay. All right. And you're done. Now what do you do with that? Now what you do with this is you will let this rise on the kitchen counter for two hours. Okay. For two hours. And then after that, you plop it in the, you just throw it in the refrigerator. I put a top on it so that it's pretty airtight, so there's no gnats or anything like that. Um, it's funny because the gases will expand and it will push this open. Um, Do you want to show it, them what it looks like? Grab the one from the... Well, the other one, it's kind of sunk down because I got into it this morning. Okay. So, but just put this on, on just put a top on it. Put it on the counter for two hours, and then throw it in your refrigerator and leave it overnight. That makes the best tasting if it's in the refrigerator overnight. Or I, you can you can actually after you wait wait that two hours you can take some off and bake it right away. You can you can, right. but the flavor is not going to be right as good. Yeah, the longer it sits in the refrigerator, the t the better it tastes. It gets almost a sourdoughy kind of vibe. Yeah, going. yeah. Um, you can also. However, it can't. You don't leave it longer than two weeks. Yeah, it'll so, go. It'll go yeah. bad. And this is not something you feed though. This is a use and done. M Marjorie Ede says, "Important tip: Don't wear rings." <laughs> oh, that's funny because my ring is on my other hand. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All yeah. right. I'm going to go throw this on the kitchen okay. and I'm going to go wash my hands. You do that, baby cakes. Let's talk. Um, questions, Claire. Are there any questions? Oh, somebody did ask if we make our own tortillas. Maybe a video for that. Do we make our own tortillas? And the answer is we have in the past. It is really, really kind of a pain in the butt. But they're delicious. They No doubt they're delicious and they're way better than store-bought. But it's one of those things where it's, it's piddly and, and it... For a family of our size, I mean, we're feeding, uh, you know, six kids. Our, our eldest son, David, 
he's not here in the in the house. He's in the army. Uh, but so we're feeding that many, and and when they all want two or three of those things, man, you really have to have a production line going. And so uh, there's that. But uh, other questions. Let me see what we got. I'll scroll through here. Who's got what to say about what? Hmm. Okay. Anyone? Anyone? Get it, fancy pants. Hey, by the way, guys, in the description down below of the uh, the video there, all the links are in there. So if you want to get, you know, some of the stuff that we use, it's, it's down there for you to check out. Let's see. Hi, Heather. Good, 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 good afternoon. Where's mama? She's still, she's washing, washing her hands up. So, um, bread jokes. We, we, I think we're run out of bread jokes. Oh no, I can look up some if you want. Some bread jokes. <laughs> I made uh, pioneer soul said I made your French bread yesterday and both loaves are gone. <laughs> I'd say it was a success in the yeah, house. Definitely. Yeah, this stuff is so great. Um, so what, uh, what do we got to show them, Mama? Well, I brought the bucket um, from the refrigerator. Here, here. Yeah. Oops. Whoops. Throwing things. Uh oh. Okay, here we go. There's the bucket from the fridge. This but is it from the refrigerator, and this I've already taken out two pounds, and there's still two more loaves, two more one-pound loaves left in here. Okay, so show them, show them what's next, sweet pea. Stop yelling at me. Jeez. The violence has got to stop. Mm -hmm. I got you. Okay. All right. Now, my handy dandy scale. Okay. So, as you can see, there's some flour on top of there. So, this, this rose all the way to the very tippy top. Sorry, you can't see that rose to the very top and it was very sticky so I sprinkle a little bit of flour on top and then um, that way it's easier to get it out of the bucket yeah, that's and handle it's not it not sticking to my hands yep so like that I just threw a little bit on top of there and this will make two more loaves I just pick it up this has got to come up some Moment, gonna... It's got to come up some. It's got to come up a little bit higher so they can see up here. Okay. You got to be careful that it's not going to break. There we go. Here you go. Okay. So this here is how this will come out. Still kind of. And I'll just divide this in half. Just eyeball in it. Just eyeball it. But I do weigh it. So well, why do you weigh it then if you just... Because I know then, then, then I have the right amount of um, dough. Because this makes four one-pound loaves. Yep. So I'm going to just put that in there. One pound, one ounce. That's Perfect. close enough. That is close enough. It is not does not have to be exact. And see, now actually this one is one pound, seven ounces. So I'm going to take a little bit off of this one so these loaves are even. And it's just a guess, but... It is just a guess. It does not have to be exact. There we go. Now that other loaf's just going to go right back in the bucket, right back yeah. in the fridge. I'm just going to make them both. But that's what you would do if you didn't want to make if them both. If you want just one, you can just take off whatever you want. Now... That's too clear. It's, no, it's fine. It's, it's just heating up the, up the oven. Okay. okay. So, all you have to do... So you're tucking it under? See there? Just tuck it under. And that's, that's, that's all you're going to do with that. Now, what I like to do... Hey, Heather, uh, who's asking for a metric conversion, you can find those online. We don't have one. Sorry, I don't. But they're, they're easy. It's just a simple Google search. Yeah. So I like to bake this on parchment paper. And I have this handy-dandy... Where'd she go? I'm She's here. out. I'm right here. I have this handy-dandy pizza peel that we use for everything. Gotcha. Um, we use it for pizza, we use it for bread. And um, paddling. And No, we don't. In canoes. <laughs> right. <laughs> so I'm gonna take the bread and just put it on this pizza peel. On top of that parchment paper. Mm -hmm. on top and of make that sure that you guys understand there's a humongous difference in parchment paper and wax paper. Yes. Do not use wax paper. Learned. You'll probably cause a fire and destroy mm -hmm. your food. Okay. 
So you can see there's really not a lot to this. That's, that's it. Now, for this, we're going to leave this and let it rise for 40 minutes while your oven is heating up. If your oven is quick to heat up, heat it up, you know, 15, 20 minutes before you plan on baking. Okay. I like to just turn it on and so that it's just ready to go in when this, this is done. So we're going to let this rise for a little bit and we're going to make our creamy pasta. Creamy beef and creamy Cream, beef yeah. pops, pop, popsta. Pop, 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 popsta. So, okay. Other, any other questions here while she's running about? She's on her way. Actually, you know what? You guys want to do a giveaway? Does anybody want to win a delicious food item from Thrive Life Foods? These are unbelievable, guys. This, they, they call these things snackies. But what you've got in here, they call it the very berry parfait. But there's granola and raspberries and blackberries and yogurt bites. These things are ridiculous. So if you would like to win one of these, what what's the question we could ask, Claire? What was that one? How many videos do we have? There you go. There's your first question. How many videos does the Big Family Homestead channel have? And if you want to win, whoever gets it first, Claire, you eyeballing? How, whoever gets the first correct answer. Because there are a lot of them, I'll tell you that. It's over 500. Anybody get the uh, question correctly Aww. answered? Bandana wants to play, but she has a wrench, and so she can't. Oh. Why? Because she, cause she has a wrench, she can't win. Matt got it. Matt got yeah. it. Matt B, please send us your private message us and send us your address. And you will have these delicious snackies on the way. I will warn you, though, guys. It's addictive. It's addictive. <laughs> they are delicious. You got granola and the yogurt little bites that are freeze-dried. All this stuff is just unbelievable. So congrats to Matt. Would you write his name down, please? Yes. Matt B. And he'll have to private message us with an email or a mailing address so that we can send it your way. So what's next, Mom? Let's see if we got that... that um, Camera right looking good. Spot? Yeah, that's a good spot. Okay, it's just kind of far away. Yeah. So okay. what's next? What's next is our creamy beef and pasta. Creamy beef and pasta. Creamy beef and pasta. Okay, so our ingredients are again super super easy. Thrive Life Foods. We do have a not everything is Thrive. Most I would say probably eighty to eighty five percent is. Um, but talk for a second on what that means, because a lot of people don't understand that it makes your food preparation time go way down. It's, it's fast. Yeah. This will be done and prepared, what do you think? Well, the... Ten minutes? Ten, ten, ten minutes, minutes, maybe. Yeah, no, because it's supposed to let it simmer for yeah, a while. Yeah, it's got to simmer for a few minutes. So. But the cool thing about this, guys, is nine times out of ten, you can actually take... Uh, you know, a, a jar, and put all of your Thrive Life foods in a jar, and then you just, bam, dump all the stuff in there, and it's add done water. within a matter of, you know, a few minutes. Yep, add your boiling water to it. And it's done. super, super healthy food because there are no weird MSG, there's no weird chemicals in there. And uh, for the people who might be, you know, the self-reliant types, the people that are, you know, more the prepper kind of thing, this stuff will last on the shelf unopened for 25 years, and that is amazing. Yep, it sure is. So take it away, Mama. Alrighty then. Okay, so we have our creamy beef and pasta um, ingredients here. here in let me show them the in the, the ingredients. You can go ahead and talk about okay. them as that's up. Okay, so we have uh, two tablespoons of butter, one tablespoon of garlic, one cup of mushroom pieces that are Thrive freeze dried. Um, we have. Um, Quarter teaspoon of the chef, the Thrive Chef's Choice Seasoning Blend. Uh, one tablespoon of chopped freeze-dried onions. Uh, one cup of Thrive Beef Dices. Four cups of chicken broth, and we have our own chicken broth that we're using. A half a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. A half a cup of Thrive Violet sauce. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know how to pronounce it's it. It's very delicious, but right. it's very... Blah, blah. And, and it's dry. Um, and then a quarter cup of heavy cream. Now, before we go any further, Mama, yes. a lot of people are not fans of mushrooms. 
you can swap the mushrooms out for any old thing you like. I, I personally might have gone with, you know, carrots or a root vegetable. Uh, but just so you know, you don't have to use any of these ingredients you don't like. You can just ditch them. Right. But uh, the mushroom, for those who do like mushrooms, they it really does add a nice earthy flavor to it. And for those of you who don't like mushrooms, you may want to try it because you'd be surprised. It adds a whole new texture to it. And, um, well, Mama's gone again. She, she took off. What's the difference between freeze-dried and dehydration? Somebody okay, asking. someone's asking the difference between freeze-dried and dehydration. When you dehydrate food, you've got your food, and then you put it in a dehydrator, which heats it up and extracts the water. Okay. Now, with freeze-dried food, it's the coolest thing ever. What they do is you got your food that, that was picked fresh, and it's flash frozen, really, really deep frozen right away. And then the process of uh, the process of freeze drying it, it lowers the temperature really, really fast in a vacuum. And what happens at that point is all the moisture is taken out of it, and then you have freeze dried, which means this is the cool thing. All of the nutrition that was in that apple, was in that banana, mm -hmm. is all still there because yeah. there's it was never heated. And and not to mention. Freeze-dried foods last a heck of a lot longer, 25 years on the shelf, as opposed to dehydrated, which is going to go bad in a season or so. So here you go, Mama. Answer, question answered. You're back on the wide cam. Sweet. Okay, so again, this recipe is stupid easy. <laughs> um, now we're going to take our two tablespoons of butter and get those melting. And then to that, I'm going to add um, a tablespoon of garlic and the one cup of mushroom pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and get the mushrooms out. Oh, and then our seasoning blend. There's so many of these in there. There's three of these in here. You got three oxygen There's absorbers three in, there. in there. That's funny. I guess they really wanted the O2 out of there. Yeah. So what are you measuring out right now? I'm measuring out the one cup of mushroom pieces. All right. There's no chopping. There's no. Oh. There's no waste. Exactly. And for those of you exactly. who don't like to chop up onions, like me, I usually try to trick Claire into doing it. Yeah. You don't. There's no trickery. You're just like, hey, can you? Hey, do you mind? Cut the onions but and like, with fine. the Thrive stuff, you never, you don't have to cut them up ever again. It's just all right there. You measure out what you need. Okay. What are we doing next, Mama? Oh, there's Daisy, pho photo bombing. Daisy. No, you can't have any right now. She can't have any, period. No. What are you talking about? Right. Okay. So I'm going to add our garlic. To the, um, to to the, the pan. Butter. I think that might need to come up and temp a little, Mama. Well, I don't want it to burn, so no, I don't want, okay. it. I don't want it too hot. Okay. And then a tablespoon of our drive seasoning. Yeah. Come on. Oh, it's stuck. This one probably needed an oxygen absorber. Yeah. There. There we go. Now I can hear that sizzle. Mm -hmm. Now we're cooking with gas. Yeah. We're actually no, electric. electric. Now we're going to add our mushrooms. We're just going to saute those just a little bit. Okay, hey, what goes in next, Mama? Next, we're going to, oh, we're supposed to add our onions. I forgot. And we need a tablespoon of onions. It's not too late. No, it's never too late. Never too late. All right, so now we're going to add a half a cup of broth. Not a lot right just yet. We're going to add a little bit at a time. Ooh, there you go. Smell a vision engage. Mm -hmm. I wish you could smell what it smells like in here. Yeah. Just this broth is just to rehydrate those onions and the mushrooms. Give them a peek, And then mama. we're going to add there you the go. rest of the ingredients. Oops, sorry. A little high. There you go. Oop, That's there good. Go. Okay. 
And then we're going to add the rest of the ingredients here in just a minute. Mm -hmm. So we're going to cook that just a little bit until it gets a little dry so that, that the, the onions and mushrooms absorb that liquid. What temperature is the oven, the bread cooking at? 450 degrees. 450 for 30 minutes. Yep. For 30 minutes. 450 degrees for 30 minutes. So you're measuring out the beef slices. Yep. Dices. Not Dices. Slices. There's that. Marjorie Eads, yes. Don't forget, Mama, you didn't mention the pan of water in the oven for the bread. Oh, I did forget about that. Yeah, that that is that helps with the crunch on the outside of the bread. So what You're you need to do keep a metal pan, like an old cake pan or old loaf pan in your oven. Cake pan is nice because then it's thin and it's not taking up so much space. But you're gonna put you're gonna leave that in the oven while the oven is heating up. Then as you're putting in your bread, after you get your bread put in, you're gonna put a cup of hot water into that pan. So that steam will go throughout the, the oven and make that crust really, really nice. Nice and crunchy. Nice it's and very crunchy. good. It's very good. Okie dokie. There we go. See, it's reducing just a touch because that the mushrooms and onions are absorbing that liquid. They're rehydrating. Yep. Yep. Okay. Next up. So now we're going to add the beef and the rest of the broth and your, and your Italian seasoning. And you're going to want to add that broth a little bit at a time because you're not trying to make soup. Right. So that's a half a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. And I'm not going to add all of this just yet. So I'm going to leave about a cup left in my quart jar here. Yeah. Add it as you need. Right. Because you may like it thicker, you may like it thinner. Mm -hmm. And you, if you put it all in, you won't really be uh, in choice land. The right. choice has already been made for you. Right. Now that I've got that just simmering, I'm going to go ahead and put our pasta. Get our pasta going. Get our pasta going. And, my, and our water is um, already going. And this is absolutely our favorite kind of pasta, this I think. It's awesome. It's, it's called awesome. cavatappi. Here, let me put it on there. Okay, table cam. A little up. There you go. Those, those curly Q, I love those. I love those They're ones. really nice. I, I found though that it's hard to find them. The only place we can get them is at um, uh, GFS, which is Gordon Food Service. It's a restaurant supply. They're cheap and they're great, but um, kind of you can't really. Our Kroger doesn't have them. Nope. Stinks. So now you got the uh, old pasta going there. Yep. Yep. Hmm. We're going to do another giveaway, but we're going to do it a little bit later. I got, I think I'm going to wait until we see some bread action because I'm, oh, I'm making the, I'm making the bread oil. Mm -hmm. We're going to make bread oil for this is dipping oil. It's oh, so tasty and so, oh, so easy. So what's next, mama? Uh, I'm just waiting for this to simmer. Okay. Maybe well then I guess I can do the bread oil right now. Yep. So, okay. Um, I guess I'll go to this camera. And I'll just show you what I'm doing. Now, we make a dipping oil. And it's funny because the only person who doesn't like it is Mama. Me. Sorry. Everybody else loves it. And it's one of those taste things. But you can put whatever you like. Where's the little uh, dish? Thank you. Thank you. Savannah. We just take one of these little dishes like this. It's got a little bit of depth to it, right? And uh, what you're going to need is some olive oil. You can use whatever you like. And I'm going to show you this, but uh, basically, you know what? Let's go to the table cam. I am right here. Okay. So what you're going to have is you're going to go ahead and take, you know, a couple tablespoons of olive oil. Put it in your uh, old dish there. That's probably about four, maybe five. And next up, you're going to hit it with a little dash of salt. We like this Himalayan salt. It's really, really great. It's not as salty as salt, but they say that there's more beneficial minerals in here. 
So you're going to take this, hit it, get a little bit of salt in there, not too much. Then also same thing with some pepper, just like such a one. Yes, that's coming together. Now, we'll also use, there's only two more ingredients that I use, and you can do whatever it is that you like. Yep. And this is an Italian seasoning that we've had literally for 15, 20 years. No. It no. came from Publix. I know it came from Publix, but we've only lived here eight years. We bought it before we left. Still. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a mix of marjoram, thyme, rosemary, sage, uh, oregano, and basil. And so it's it's easy peasy lemon squeezy. You can do whatever you want with it. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a total preference thing. It's whatever seasonings you like the best. Right. Then, lastly but not leastly, the secret weapon: Parmesan cheese. Boom. Let's show you that. Hit a little bit of that. Looky there. Done. Now that's it. Now this kind of dipping oil is ridiculous and we'll wait for the bread but that is what it is mm -hmm. not hard to do it we'll set it over there yeah my husband is allergic to olive oil what is another good option? vegetable whatever, oil yeah whatever oil is uh best for your family we just happen to choose olive oil because we like well Brad we like the flavor. flavor of it I like olive oil. I just, I don't know why. I don't care for the dipping oil. You could, you could use it like a vegetable oil, uh, you know, sun, sunflower oil would probably be very you nice. Sunflower oil. I mean, that you would be nice. Use grapeseed oil. You could use any kind of liquid oil. Yeah. I mean, shoot, if you wanted to melt coconut oil, you could do that you could. too. You could. All right. Oh, she puts, bal uh, Marjorie Eads puts balsamic in it. Yeah, I'll bet be that good. would be very tasty. I'll bet, be really I'll bet that would be really nice. I like it then. Heather Housewife is suggesting pumpkin seed oil. That's that's, oh, interesting. that's interesting. Yeah, that, that would be a that would be something I would be willing to try. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, guys, one thing that's really cool about this is the kids love it. Mm -hmm. And we'll sit down with, you know, a thing of spaghetti and, and some bread. Salad. Or salad. Yeah. You know, we even have salad and bread nights, you know. Pretty regularly, at least once every other week, and they just love the fact that they can tear off their bread and you know dip it in there, and they like the taste, and it's easy. It's easy. So where are we going now, Mama? What you no, got? Just measuring up the uh, violet. So, sorry, guys. I, I'm not very good at, at pronouncing this properly. But I'm just gonna uh, big that. family homestead. Are you going to reach us a bowl like we did the cupcake? Yeah. Oh, that's a great idea. Oh, I forgot bowls. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, that was pretty funny. Uh, let's see what's peach balsamic vinegar. Oh my gracious, that sounds really delicious, there, Chris. Um, it's basically whatever you want to use, but you can stretch stuff like that and add a lot of flavor um, where you might not have as much. And, and trust me, the kids will eat it. They love it. They love it. So okay. Any other questions? Peach balsamic sounds great. I've not heard it. Ooh, that does sound good. Yeah. So we're already table cam. Are we boiling yet on this the? This uh, boiling. That's got to thin up for down. sure. Yeah. Well, no. It's got to. It's going to thick up when I add this uh, dry mix to it. Okay. That's good boiling. and boiling. Steamy. Steamy. Who doesn't like it steamy when you're cooking? Yeah. Hmm. Fan sometimes. Alright, I've got our, it's a sad day, folks, i got to tell you. We had to buy heavy cream. That is disgusting to me. Yeah. Our kids, this is really funny. Well, you got back up. Okay. People so, might not know. For those of you who do not know, um, we recently had a mini cow until about three weeks ago. Uh, or is it four weeks now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, we were told by the county that we had to get rid of our animals because they were no longer allowed on uh, an acre of property. So, um, sorry, we're boiling here. Um, so we sold our sweet Harriet and... Um, we're all out of milk. We are all out of cow's milk. And it lasted about a week what was left in the refrigerator, which was yeah. nice. Um, and so we would just take the cream from her and... It was, yeah. Anyway, all that to say that um, it's 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 a grim day because we're buying milk from the store. Yes. And we will get a new homestead. 
God, I, I believe God's going to bless us and get us exactly the right place we're supposed to be. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put the, um, the brulee sauce. The dry, the dry brulee. brulee sauce. On the side it says rich chicken gravy, but, you know, that doesn't sound as nice as brulee sauce. Brulee. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to sprinkle this in there and get that incorporated into our broth. And this sauce can be made for anything. You can put, um, you can leave the meat out. You can put it over chicken. You could uh, put it over fish or beef. Um, we just, we are choosing to put the beef right in there and it just is so good. I think I need a whisk. I shall return. Marjorie Eads is saying, she's giving us the correct pronunciation, Mama. Oh, okay. it's, it's volate. 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 Volate for the win. Volate. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. I, I hear bubbling, Mama. Yeah. I, there were some clumps of the sauce, so I needed to whisk them. You're whisking. I'm whisking. That's looking better. It's thickening up a little bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I might actually have to add some more broth to it. Well, I don't know. you got still got to put that cream in there. I know. Pasta and garlic. Yummy. Yeah. No kidding. That looks perfect. All right, so I'm going to add our cream, and I'm going to turn this temperature way down, way down, even to almost off. How are we doing on our noodles there, Mama Sita? There. See that? Oh, that just looks so delicious. It smells really good. This oh, is doesn't... one of those you're having company, you know, last second, and you still want to impress them. But you, yeah, you still want to impress them with a, a gourmet dish. This is it. I got to tell you. Heck yeah, that looks Look delightful. That. There was no added salt to this. For those of you who want have to, to avoid have that, that. concern. Mm -hmm. Okay, so where are we at with the pasta? Our bread's done, by the way. Our bread is done. It is sitting on the kitchen counter. You want to get it, Claire? Stop. What? <laughs> is it time for a giveaway? I don't know. What was the other question? Would you put this in the fridge, please? Uh, it's on the paper. Okay, it's on the paper. We'll find out in here in a second. So it looks like we're almost ready. The whole thing. Gosh. Gosh, oh, gosh, oh, pizza. Yeah, Valote. Are they perfect? Perfect. Okay. All right, I'm going to go strain these out real quick. So you can go or get them strained. just leave it in the pot? Uh, you know, for now, we'll just get scoop them out of the pot. Oh my gracious, hold on to your butts. Take a look at what she brought over here. Let me get this out of the way. This is not important. This is important. Take a look at that. <laughs> Feast with your eyeballs. Oh my god. Oh, don't thump everything over, Brad. Look at that. Holy smokes. <laughs> Look, you see, it's a little thick. Just a little bit. I'm going to add just a touch of broth. All right. You could use this recipe. You could use, make, uh, sorry, you could use water with this recipe. No. But broth tastes so much better. Broth has flavor. Oh, yeah. Broth has flavor. Yes. That. Oh, that's delightful. Oh, I got the wrong spoon. Claire, would you hand me the, the question? Oh, okay. Yeah, this is a good question. Um, so we're going to give away. We're going to do a little giveaway, guys. If you want to win, you kind of have to know our channel a little bit. And if you're not subscribed, please do consider subscribing. Hit that subscribe button. We greatly appreciate it. But we're going to give away another one of these awesome snackies. They're calling themselves very, very parfait. You've got granola. You've got yogurt bites, strawberries, blackberries, raspberries. They're amazingly delicious. Um... And addictive, but that's that's because they're so good. So whoever can answer this question first correctly, and Mama's doing her thing over there. Mm -hmm. Whoever can answer the question first correctly will win this delightful bag of snackies. Okay? So first person to get this question, and the question is, in our family, whose birthday is it this week? So in our family, whose birthday is it in, in this week? So looking for the correct answer. Who's got it? 
All right. Anybody? Anybody? Whose birthday is it this week? Claire's looking up. It is not mine. Not Grace. Not Ruth. One in nine choices. I don't know. Somebody's going to get it. I feel them typing. Hope, it is. Patricia Bergen, you are the winner. Yay! So, Patricia Bergen, uh, if you will private message us your mailing address, we will send you these delightful snackies. They are so good. They are really, really good. So, okay, where are we at, Mama? Uh, we're ready to eat. We're ready to eat already? Mm hmm Wow. Yeah. That, that took like no time. It, this this is a super fast meal. You could throw dinner together in less than an hour with salad, uh, this sauce and pasta. Oh, this hour? Bread. I'm talking 25 minutes, baby. Well, no, the bread takes at least, that, that takes the longest. That takes oh, okay. 40 minutes to rise to start with, then the half an hour to bake. Yeah, and, and if you've got the bread already made, this portion of it, was takes done. no time. Yeah, it takes no time at all. I mean, it's 20 minutes we, maybe. I stretched it out just a little bit because we were talking about it. Right. It's, it's super fast. So why don't you plate something up, Mama? And I'm going to I'm gonna tear into this. Uh, I think I'm going here. I'm going to tear some bread off. I if you want a knife. Now, well, I'll show you with the bread what I did to get these seeds. That looks really good. But I'm going to tear a little bit off here. And you can so, slice it. Oops. You don't have to. That's the wrong. Here, we're going for this. The table cam. Take a look at that, guys. And you can let it sit in there just a little bit longer. And these ridges here are going to get nice and, and dark, on darker brown. But check this out. Take a little bit of it. Tear that off. Something like that. Mm -hmm. And then you got your dipping oil. And you go, what? 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 Into my pie hole. <laughs> mm, uh, 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 uh. <clears throat> but I'm doing a happy dance. Mmm. All I gotta say is, dang, this is good. If you would like <coughs> some bread, you can come get some bread here. <laughs> so who's coming over for lunch? You guys gonna pop in? I'll work. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you, baby. All right. Let's see what's going on over here. Claire? Oh, my I gracious. <laughs> that smells Fine. great. Take a look at that. That is amazingly delightful. Come on, camera focus. There we go. <laughs> so, still warm, Mama? Let's go to this can. Oh my gosh. Is it good? <laughs> See, yeah. this is a new recipe for us, Winning. guys. Winning. I want to get a little bit of this, a little bit of the we pasta. We have made it before, but we changed it from the last time. You like it better? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is what we got. Yep. Hopefully, it doesn't burn my face off. Yeah. That is awesome. Not good. Mm -hmm. No salt? No. It's mm. perfectly salted. Mm. There's salt in that um, velote. Velote. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I am a saltaholic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm bad. It, usually, I, I won't even taste food. I'll just put this stuff on it. Yeah. Mm. Which drives me crazy. Mm. All right. And I like the way that the sauce kind of gets up into the cavatappi mm -hmm. noodles. But, ladies and gentlemen, bread for the win. Yep. Yummy, yummy. Else. This is my favorite part, right here. And I always get in trouble. I'll take this part right it off. It just the... takes the crusty part right off, right off this top. This, this is the best part. It just takes this right here. Yeah, the ridge. Here, it tears it off. Heck yeah, going back to happy bread cam. Mm -hmm. Happy, happy bread cam. Oh, that's so good. It is really mm -hmm. good. Okay. Well, now, we're not done yet, though. We're not done. No, because. What else we got? Well, we have. I have to show them how I do the the decorating of. The oh, bread. okay. So that one has been the ones that we rolled earlier have been rising. Okay. Well. So here you go. About forty minutes. So this so is the finished to, product, but you got to show you. Okay? I have to move this out of the way. Can I move this out of the way, or do you want mm -hmm. it over there? I can move it out of the way. <laughs> right okay. next to me. Whoa! <laughs> knocking cameras over. Hot. 
wasn't me this time. Ooh, All right, so perfect. as you can see, our bread has risen just a little bit, not a lot. Now, if you find that your bread is kind of flat, you might need to add a little bit of flour to it. Um, but this, this is just fine the way it is. Now, I used, I've changed the way I, I, I put the, the seeds on the bread. I used to use um, oil or butter. We're going to come this way. Put a table. Right. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. You used to use... Mm. You used to use oil or butter? Yep. Now I'm going to use an egg. Oh, yeah. Because that way, because when I would use oil or butter, the seeds would come right off the second you um, slice it or tear it. This way, the seeds, you, look Tell at that, there's no seeds on that tray. So I'm going to slice, I'm going to slice, slice an egg. So I'm going to get a little bit of an egg, a little bit, ah. Oh. You got this, Mama. So I'm going to get an egg. An egg. An, an egg, and I need a little bit of water, and I don't have any. I'll be right back, I'm sorry. She's out. Oh. I'm going to have food game here. <laughs> There's table cam. Any questions while we're at it? I see woohoo. That's good. Okay. So you just put a little splash of water into the um, egg. And then you're just going to beat the egg. And you're going to make an egg wash. There we go. I'm slacking. Got to show you. Yeah, you are. Because you're eating. I'm happy. Yummy. I'm happy. I got my food. All right. So there's our egg wash, and I've got our pastry brush, and I'm just going to brush this egg right on top of the bread. And just cover the top part of the bread that's that's uh, that you can see. You don't need a ton of, of egg. Oh, Claire, I forgot the knife. knife. Would you please go get me that sharp knife that's sitting on the counter? Mm-hmm. Now, we have sesame seeds and poppy seeds. Brad likes sesame seeds. I really don't care. They're both very, very good. Poppy seeds or sesame. So we'll do one of each. Yes. Sorry. Oh, Claire. Knocking the cameras. Ah, oh, man. It's not me. <laughs> it's usually always me. This is why we can't have nice things. All right. Hey, tiny house prepper. How are you guys doing? Okay. So one is sesame and one is poppy. Let's go back to the table cam. And once again, guys, if you're interested in any of the, the Thrive Life foods, the links are down below. Um, and I can't believe how fast that went. Mm -hmm. I mean, dinner, if you were just having that mm -hmm. with that beef, creamy beef uh, and pasta, 25 minutes max, yep. max. And I would say really realistically, 18 to 20. Yeah. And you've got something that's just completely delicious. And, I mean, good for you. I, I can't stop eating it. I didn't add any salt to it, and it's got just so much flavor. Okay, well, what's okay. next? Uh, well, I don't waste the egg. If I'm done with it, I give it to Daisy. Our doggy. <laughs> she loves them. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you're going to want a super sharp knife, and all you're going to do is just score the top part of this bread. I score it five times. So one on either side, and then I move in a little bit, and then one straight on the top. And what are you doing that for? This is so that the the, um, the bread has a, a chance to expand and not break out of one side or the other. Okay, let's show that again. I'm gonna score it. And this works really well with a sharp, the sharpest knife you can. I just sharpened this before. Because if you have a dull knife, it's just going to pull it pulls the whole it thing apart. over. It's, it's awful. Yeah. And then doing it like that, can I have the poppy seed? Bowl? Yes, ma'am. There you go. This is where I scored it. See how it kind of just expands in those spaces and doesn't explode. I've had just the worst looking bread loaves 
when I first started doing this because I didn't score it. It would just kind of like explode out the side. It was just, it was really, really ridiculous. Well, and you can get creative with how you score it. Mm -hmm. I've yeah. seen people make really beautiful designs okay. on it. I've even seen them make leaves. That mm -hmm. would be really hard to do, but... It can be whatever you want. I mean, exactly. this bread takes no time to make, right. so you can get creative with how you uh, make it look. Exactly. You can make it however you'd like. Um, this is just the way I have found that I like it. So now that, just so, basically you wait. Now you're going, no, you put this straight in the oven at 450 degrees or, with your cup of water for 30 minutes. And you're done. And you're, you're done. That's it? Yep. And, and that's that, it. And that, I think, wraps up our show for the day. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we're quick. So, guys, fast, fast, delicious, mm -hmm. thrive life food. If you're a busy mom, this is the way to go. <laughs> yeah. It really this, is the yeah, way to go. This took no time at all to just pull the cans out, put everything in there. You save so much time. You save probably 20, 30 minutes in prep time. Easy. Um, Cutting the not beef. cutting in uh, onions. Not cutting onions. Not cutting the mushrooms. You know, the broth was something that we have made and put on our shelf. Um, it's just well, and so easy. once again, links are down below. The bread, guys, get this into your life. Yeah. This stuff is if, if you're not gluten free, obviously you got to deal with gluten issues. Right. But you but can make it with different kind of flour. I would you imagine, could. So. Maybe peanut flour. I don't know. But I don't that, think so. That'd be really tasty bread. Know. All you need to do is just add jelly then. You don't need anything else. Right? <laughs> so, great stuff. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for coming and hanging out with us. Um, other than that, I think it's time to eat. Yeah. Well, I'm almost done. Yeah. I'm done. I think mine is probably now not going to melt my face off hot. Oh, you're good. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm Brad. And I'm Krista. And please don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button. It really does help our family out. Yeah. And so, with that... You guys have a nice day. No, awesome day. You guys have an amazing day. Amazing day. That's even better. So I'm going to go shut the thing off. Bye, guys.